So welcome to Sacred Prayers. I'm so glad that you've joined me today for this time of worship and prayer. Before I get started, I wanted to mention, if you have not already checked out the Sacred Stories and the Sacred Songs, and that is under Virtual Discipleship, under the Sacred Trilogy, those are some very um, nourishing um, types of ways that we can stay connected to our church, to our Savior, and to each other. And I would encourage you, if you have not, to go ahead and check those out. Please join with me as we pray our hymns. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins, and sinners plunged beneath that flood lose all their guilty stains, lose all their guilty stains. And in sinners plunged beneath that flood lose all their guilty stains. The dying thief rejoiced to see that fountain in his day, and there may I, though vile as he, wash all my sins away. Wash all my sins away. Wash all my sins away. May I, though vile as he, wash all my sins away. Dear dying lamb, thy precious blood shall never lose its power till all the ransomed church of God be saved to sin no more. Be saved to sin no more. Be saved to sin no more till all the ransomed church of God be saved to sin no more. Ere since by faith I saw the stream thy flowing wounds supply, redeeming love has been my theme, and shall be till I die, and shall be till I die, and shall be till I die. Redeeming love has been my theme, and shall be till I die. Then in a nobler, sweeter song, I'll sing thy power to save. When this poor lisping, stampering tongue lies silent in the grave, lies silent in the grave. When this poor, lisping, stammering tongue lies silent in the grave. And we will lose all of our guilty stains. And he will wash all of our sins away and we will be saved to sin no more. Nearer, my God, to thee, nearer, my God, to thee, even though it be a cross that raiseth me, still all my songs shall be nearer, my God, to thee, nearer, my God, to thee. Though like the wanderer, the sun gone down, darkness be over me, my rest, a stone, yet in my dreams, I'd be nearer, my God, to thee, nearer, my God, to thee. Then with my waking thoughts, bright with thy praise, out of my stony griefs, Bethel, I'll raise. So by my woes to be nearer, my God, to thee, nearer, my God, to thee. Or if on joyful wing cleaving the sky, Sun, moon, and stars forgot, upward I fly. Still all my songs shall be nearer, my God, to thee. Nearer, my God, to thee. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way. While we do his good will, he abides with us still and with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Not a burden we bear, not a sorrow we share, but our toil he doth richly repay. Not a grief or a loss, not a frown or a cross, but is blessed if we trust and obey. Trust and obey, but for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. But we never can prove the delights of his love until all on the altar we lay. For the favor he shows, for the joy he bestows, are for them who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Then in fellowship sweet we will sit at his feet, or we'll walk by his side in the way. 
What he says we will do, where he sends we will go. Never fear, only trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Let us pray. Oh, dear Jesus, let us claim victory in your name today as a body of Christ. And I invite you today, our friends, that you would just say the name of Jesus over and over. Oh, we let us say and praise the name of Jesus, the sweet name of Jesus. Let us lift up the name of Jesus and let us bow before Jesus. Let us lift our hands to Jesus. And let us be crumbled at the foot of the cross with Jesus. Let us sit at the feet of Jesus. And let us find comfort there. Oh, Jesus, we come to you today as a body of Christ and we sing these hymns. We sing these hymns from our heart, our soul, and our mind. Let these hymns be life and nourishment to us in these days of uncertainty. We pray, O oh God, for all of those who are sick. We pray for those who are sick with COVID. We pray that you would bring healing. And Father God, we pray for the vaccine, that when it does come, that it would be effective and that it would heal people, help people, and restore people, and that it would prevent people from getting sick. We pray for all the treatments in line for COVID patients, that you would allow them to be all that they can be, as if it were a touch from the great physician. We pray for our nurses and our caretakers and our CNAs and the radiologists and the doctors. We pray for the medical staff. We pray, oh God, that you would bless them in the name of Jesus. We lift them up to you as a body of Christ and ask that you would give them courage and strength. And we pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus and the power of Jesus, that you would protect them Keep them safe and keep them healthy as they care for so many. We pray that you would give them, oh dear Jesus, give them comfort for these days of um, struggle as they serve others. We pray that you would lift the burdens off their shoulders and comfort them. We pray for their families, that you would bless them. And we thank you, O oh God, for our amazing medical workers. We give you praise and honor and glory for their calling into the medical field. Father God, let us find ourselves living our lives at the feet of Jesus, humbly and as we are crumbled in the presence of God. Let us shed the sins that hold us. Let us shed the cha chains that hold us. Oh, Jesus, cleanse us and wash us in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, though our sins may be as scarlet, that you would wash us and clean us so that we can be white as snow. Father God, we lift up all those who have lost their jobs. We lift them up and ask for your mercy upon so many who are hurting. Help us to always remember that there's someone who is hurting far more than we are. We ask that you would help us to fixate our eyes upon you, O Lord, our Savior, our Messiah, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the sweet rose of Sharon, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. O let us praise the name of our Savior and let us claim victory for these prayers. We pray, O oh God, for the staff of our church and ask that you would bless them. O oh Jesus, we pray for blessings upon the staff of this beautiful church family. We pray that you would help New Covenant United Methodist Church to be a beacon of light in the villages. We pray that we would be a hospital for the hurting. We pray that those who have not found their way to the doors of our church would find their way to the doors of our church and that they would enter and find a home. 
We pray that we would love those who are unlovable. Help us to care for those who seem to not want to be cared for. Help us to do all we can for the widows and the orphans. And we thank you, O oh God, for giving us hope, giving us grace and mercy. We thank you, O oh Jesus, for loving us and caring for us. We claim victory in the name of Jesus on this day. And let us close with this hymn. Jesus, the very thought of thee with sweetness fills the breast, but sweeter far thy face to see and in thy presence rest. O hope of every contrite heart, O joy of all the meek, to those who fall, how kind thou art, how good to those who seek. But what to those who find, ah, this nor tongue nor pen can show, the love of Jesus, what it is, none but his loved ones know. Jesus, our only joy, be thou as thou a prize wilt be. Jesus, be thou our glory now and through eternity. Let us claim victory for these prayers. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, God bless you.